wakonda dada wapata atohi The great chief in Washington sends word that he wishes to buy our land. He asks much of us, but it will not be easy for this land is sacred to us. How can you buy or sell the sky, the rain, and the wind? That idea is strange to us. If we do not own the freshness of the air and the sparkle of the water, how can you buy them? Every part of this earth is sacred to my people. Every sandy shore, shining pine needle, every mist in the dark woods, every clearing and humming insect is holy in the memory and experience of my people. I know the sap that courses through the trees as I know the blood that flows in my own veins. The shining water that moves in the streams and rivers is not just water, but the blood of our grandfathers' grandfathers. The air is precious. It shares its spirit with all the life it supports. The wind that gave me my first breath will receive my last sigh. We are part of the earth, and it is part of us. The rocky crests, the meadows, the ponies, all belong to the same family. The perfumed flowers are our sisters. The bear, the deer, the great eagle, these are our brothers. The water's murmur is the voice of your great-great-grandmother. Each ghostly reflection in the clear waters of the lake tells of memories in the life of our people. The rivers are our brothers. They quench our thirst, they carry our canoes, and feed our children. You must give to the rivers the kindness you would give to any brother. Man did not weave the web of life. He is merely a strand in it. Whatever he does to the web, he does to himself. The destiny of your people is a mystery to us. We know that the white man does not understand our ways. One portion of the land is the same to him as the next, for he is a stranger who comes in the night and takes from the land whatever he needs. The earth is not his brother, but his enemy, and when he has conquered it, he moves on. He leaves his father's grave behind and he does not care. He kidnaps the earth from his children and he does not care. His father's grave and his children's birthright are forgotten. He treats his mother of the earth and his brother of the sky as things to be bought, plundered, sold like sheep or bright leaves. His appetite will devour the earth and leave behind only a desert. Contaminate your bed and you will one night suffocate in your own waste. What will happen when the buffalo are all slaughtered? The wild horse is tamed. What will happen when the secret corners of the forest are heavy with the scent of many men? When the view of the ripe hills is blotted by talking wires? What will happen when we say goodbye to the swift pony and the hunt? When the last red man and woman have vanished with their wilderness and their memory is only a shadow of a cloud moving across the prairie, will the shores and forests still be there? Will there be any spirit of my people left? It will be the end of living and the beginning of survival. We love this earth as a newborn loves its mother's heartbeat. If we sell you our land, care for it as we have cared for it. Hold in your mind the memory of the land as it is when you receive it. Preserve the land 
and the air and the rivers for your children's children and love it as we have loved it. The earth is our mother. What befalls the earth befalls all the sons and daughters of the earth. <laughs> 